Hello, in this video, we are going to look at macros in assembly. So macros are really cool, been really looking forward to this video. So a macro is basically a group of instructions and you assign it a code name, a name. So this has to be unique. And you can call that name anywhere you want in the code and it will run whatever the instructions are in there. So instead of, you know, constantly, maybe it's a complex algorithm that you've got, you need to use it several times. Instead of constantly rewriting it, you can just create it once. And the great thing is you update that one location, it, you know, updates everywhere else. So it helps redundancy. The other great thing is this commonly used for tasks. So this is the general requirement for printing out something. You can get more complex than this depending on what you're printing. But this is why it's required, these five lines. So why not put this into a macro? That's what we are going to do right now so the format of a macro is the percent macro then the name of the macro so this is the name that we would use to initiate it so i'm going to call it epic print then any parameters that are going to pass in or any values i'm going to put two because we're going to pass in two values because if it's printing we need the accumulator register to be four. We need the EBX register to be one. It's just the ECX and the EDX will change. So the actual you know, value that we're printing and the length of that value as well. Now in here, what we're going to just say is move into EAX four. So this can just be hard coded. Move into EBX one. But moving to ECX, we don't want to put the value we want to put percent one so this just says the first parameter that is passed in assign that here so we need to make sure when we call it that we actually you know put the right order next we're going to move into the edx so we guessed it percent two because that's going to be the second parameter finally we're going to do int ath to run the kernel and now what we are going to do to end our macro you just put percent end macro or one word and as you can see, still works the same way because I haven't deleted this, but if I did, nothing prints because until we initiate the macro, call it, it won't, you know, execute the code inside of it. So to do it, we put the name of it, which is what we assigned here, epic print. Now, with a space, you put the first parameter, so hello, then the next one, so hello, Len. There we go. So if we was to duplicate this, ZXP, or you will see, these three lines have been able to execute all of this. So that's fantastic. And as if I was to let's say turn this to one, two, and three, we'll get the three different lambs. So we get just H, then H-E, then H-E-L. So that is it. That is how you implement macros in assembly. I think it's an extremely useful you know feature in the assembly programming language if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video